come to Silverstone, they said, and drive a lap of the circuit. And yet here I am, 40 miles south of the Arctic Circle in Lapland, freezing. Even more freezing. Hey. Haha. -ha. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Right, let's go. Let's do some ice driving. something that any Formula One driver could come and do well. I think anything could do it, but I'm not sure about the rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible that we're in Lapland and we're actually here at Silverstone. Yeah. dream coming true, you know, Silverstone on ice. Silverstone on ice. We'll put that to Bernie. Yeah. This is the best bit, Beckett's. But it's sideways Beckett's. Yeah. I could do this all day. You could do this all day? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll come back and get that bit later. <laughs> Do you think that driving in these sorts of conditions help you become the driver that you are? And, and, and not just you, but in terms of we've seen so many Finnish drivers coming through. Well, for sure, it doesn't do any harm. I mean, the more you drive in different conditions and tricky conditions with different cars, I think it really helps and, uh, you know, the, the physics are still the same, just the, the surface here is maybe a bit more slippy. It's quite mild now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is this mild? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it can get what's colder. cold then? Well, when it starts to go minus 30 or something, then it starts to be a bit cold. But to be honest, now nowadays with all the traveling and Formula 1 in warm countries, you, you get a bit spoiled. Yeah. You know, uh, just need to go back to Finland always in the winter and... Toughen up again. Man up again, yeah. <laughs> Being with Williams for the British Grand Prix, to be part of a British institution must be special. It is a special Grand Prix. There's so much support for Williams, and uh, also also for me. And uh, being there on the on the podium last year was, was amazing. Yeah. One thing you might not be looking forward to quite so much is being my passenger. How are you feeling? Are you scared? Not really. No. I am. Because there's plenty of space around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. So you need to coach me because I have never done this before. Well, press the clutch. Yeah, I know. Then I'm not. Select first gear. Here we go. Here we go. See, it's moving underneath me. Now let's try and have a good slide here. So turn and trouble. No. Trouble, yeah. No. Yeah, sideways. Yay! <laughs> The thing is, I'm so excited to get round one corner that I forget about the next. Turn and trouble. Ooh. See, Matthew, I don't know. Oh, that's good. No, you nearly got it. Oh, <laughs> damn. The thing is, I'm getting too excited now. This is, oh my oh. God. Oh. <laughs> 
now it's a uh, long right hand. <laughs> Right, give me an assessment. What could I be doing better? Um, turn more. more. <laughs> I can't get anymore. <laughs> so now I feel like I'm feeling facing the wrong way. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one? Yeah. Oh, I think we might be stuck. No Should we swap? Yeah. Okay, try. We'll scrap this bit. It could, could be tricky. It's not happening. No. We're here. Stuck. In um, the middle of the lake. Who should we phone? There's no signal. <laughs> right. Uh, do you know any songs? Uh... <laughs> oh, what do we do? <laughs> One is the Silverstone Golifying. Well, there you go. If you want Formula One to be a little more an